Hey guys, what's up? It's Samantha, and I'm finally sitting down to film the voiceover for my final memory keeping spread for September, and I'm using SPC's Blushing Comfort Kit, and then I pulled in a boatload of Simply Gilded Washi, lots of mint and pink, and the Planner Sophisticate um, collab. So I'm just going ahead and whiting out the top couple lines of washi and putting down the mint um, Simply Gilded just because I wanted to bring in more of like the mint and the like wine burgundy purple color in the kit so it wasn't so pastel pink just because that's not as much my jam. So I love how this kit turned out um, and I did go ahead and pre-fill out my sidebar this week um, because it just makes it easier when I'm filming to be able to like lay down the sidebar and have it already filled out. Um, just just the little things so I decided to put the girl for my quote box and my habit trackers and then I put in this like super old I think this is one of the first simply gilded washies I ever got the pink with gold confetti dots and the reason I cut off so much on that one end is I hadn't used it in a while and it had come unrolled like it had stuck to something and so like the first like inch and a half or so had gotten like unsticky because it had been like stuck to something and I didn't want it to be constantly peeling up um and then for my to-do I put down a piece of washi from the kit and grabbed a gold on clear paper um foiled script from a rose colored days sampler um I've been trying to be better about pulling in like because I have so many foiled samplers and stuff and a lot of them have really pretty scripts and things like that so I actually used the gold confetti headers um, off of the two rose colored days gold samplers I had and I just realized I did my like full boxes on my weekend weird normally I on Sunday would have put that full box in the middle I don't know why I must have been like zoned out but I put that on the bottom instead which is not normally how I do my full boxes so oops I mean it turned out fine but that's not usually my pattern um, but since I only had two of the gold samplers with like seven headers each on them with that like kind of paint speckled header um, I did those overlays on the top and bottom rows of uh, glitter headers and then just did plain gold confetti across the middle um, which by the way um, I would totally love those like gold paint speckled headers like or the paint speckle in addition to just the confetti headers um, that would be like something really 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 cool that I would love to see Lauren BT dubs I don't know if you watch my plan with me's um I might like DM her and be like yo those like paint speckle splatter headers are super awesome and can I get can I get some um but yeah I'm just going ahead and doing I think all of these are rose colored days um, foil overlays. I did pull in a couple of the fall ones just since this sort of has fall vibes. I think I only did two with the leaves and then the like ones with the bow corners were also from the sampler that had the like paint speckle. So on Monday the first thing I did was have my coffee and plan. I have coffee every morning but I usually mark it if I like give myself time to have some chill out time in the morning to like have my coffee and sit and like watch something or play in my planner or do something productive um and then I had work from nine to five honestly I even when I'm marking it there I was maybe just like playing in my planner for 20 minutes um I've been sleeping in as late as I possibly can because I've just been exhausted um it's I track my sleep on my Fitbit and my like average amount of sleep per night has increased by like almost an hour over the last month. Um, like my average, my weekly average has increased quite a bit. I've just been exhausted all the time. Um, like even when I get like eight or nine hours of sleep, I'm still exhausted when I wake up, which if you've been following me on Instagram, I just like was talking about that on Insta stories. Um, so hopefully we can figure out what's been going on. But I put down the little Coffee Monsters Co. rainy, um, like, puddle splashing sticker. It was just a really rainy, sleepy day, and I was so tired that day. Um, I was just exhausted, and 
I haven't gotten most of my blood work back, but I did get my vitamin D back and I do not have low vitamin D. It, it's like super high, so it's not that. Um, it was just a really like dark, sleepy day. Um, and then on my way home from work, I called my mom. So I used a speech bubble from the sampler and a glitter fancy label from the kit. And then that night I did my puzzle and audiobook thing. I read so many books in September because that's like all I could do was just like sit and listen to audiobooks because I was so tired all the time. Um, but I finished Lord of Shadows, which I actually went back and forth between the physical book and the audiobook so I could read it while I was on desk at the library. Um, but I had to mark finishing Lord of Shadows because I really enjoyed that book. So that's just a book label from the kit. I do have the, mul the fall multicolor of that. Um, I kind of goofed up. I, I wonder if like my slice tool is getting dull if I need to get a new one because I've noticed it's been like not cutting super well. Like the last couple of videos I've done, I've had like some janky edges on my washi. Um, so I'm just putting down Magic Prince Co. foiled stickers for my puzzle audiobook wombo combo that I do pretty much all the time. I actually haven't done my puzzle much this week because I've been like on the sofa nonstop. Um, but yeah, um, it's just been, this week was sort of the, like, decline into everything. I actually ended up skipping kickball on Tuesday because I was so tired, um, which I feel bad. Like, I, at first I was, like, thinking, oh, I overcommitted to things for the fall, like, that's why I'm so tired, blah, blah, blah. But it's, like, definitely physical. Um, so Tuesday morning, I unloaded the dishwasher, and then I had my coffee and played in my planner, and I had work from 9 to 5, and then that fancy label down there, I'm looking for my Munchkin Ear stickers. <laughs> um, we, there were once more with love new releases, and I had, I wanted to pick those up. I don't do like every new release from Once More With Love, but I forget which ones those were. I can't remember because I haven't gotten them yet because that was only like a week and a half ago. Um, but I had to mark Once More With Love new releases and I love that like Munchkinier and Proud sticker because I don't get to use those very often. So I was super hyped to use that. And then on Tuesday, I am going to grab, I don't know why, I'm, of course I'm still on Tuesday, duh. I'm going to grab another book label to mark that I finished The Arc of Broken Things by Lauren Oliver, which I really enjoyed. Um, if you want to hear about all the books I read in September, you should go watch my October monthly plan with me and I talk about all the books I read the previous month. And then that half box is for a date night with Joe. Um... I was so tired. We ended up going to the giant eagle that's like, we have like a fancy giant eagle, like the market district by our house. And so we ended up just going and having a glass of wine and we got like prepared food there. And then they have like seating upstairs and it's really cool because you can look over the whole store and it's just like really cool because you don't really see a grocery store from that perspective. Um, so we just sat up there and talked and... Um, ate food and then we came home and watched an episode of Great British Bake Off because I've been obsessed with that like literally all I've done this week is lay on the sofa and watch like old seasons of Great British Bake Off so Wednesday was trash day and then because I go into work late on Wednesdays I had chill time with coffee and then I um, am marking a load of laundry there on Wednesday. I've been trying to be better about laundry because I just get really overwhelmed when it's like a full week of laundry and most of it's my clothes because Joe takes all of his dress shirts to the dry cleaner. So it's like Joe, I don't fold Joe's clothes, but like the bulk of everything is mine and I just, I hate folding stuff. And when there's a ton of laundry, it gets really tangled up. And so I've been trying to do laundry twice a week. Um, and then I don't have to carry down like super heavy baskets because I've just been like so tired and I know that sounds really weird and I, it sounds weird to me too to be like carrying down a laundry basket physically exhausts me but it does like I've just felt like really weak and stuff so I realize how silly that sounds but like yeah I, I 
I'm trying to like stop beating myself up about it because I've been like you're just being a baby like none of this stuff is hard why are you so stressed out about it but like there's clearly something like going on and I need to like be gentler with myself um so I'm just I also unloaded the dishwasher that morning and then I wanted to zhuzh up the space with some of these skinny five millimeter simply gilded washi and you can kind of see what I mean here my like slice tool doesn't seem to really be cutting the washi as cleanly as it used to so maybe I need a new can you just change out the blades or do I have to buy a whole new one is it like an exacto knife I don't know I haven't really looked at it um but Wednesday I had work from 12 to 8 and then my girls who code club was at 345 and then on Wednesday again like I was almost falling asleep I don't like I wanted Olive Garden salad we Joe and I went out to Olive Garden um I was like almost falling asleep in the booth I was so tired so this was like maybe 8 30 and I remember like sitting down and like I thought I was gonna seriously fall asleep sitting in Olive Garden um because that's like what my life has been um and then on Thursday I had my cell phone bill due and Joe was on call which was fine um because I have Bible study on Thursday night um and then filling that out there but yeah Thursday night was actually I was so tired and overwhelmed I was just like how am I even gonna like leave the house to go to bible study I was so stressed out so like I came home and I like changed into more comfortable clothes I think I like did some dishes and folded laundry like the laundry I had done on Wednesday I hadn't folded the like second load so I think I folded laundry and was like, okay, I'm going to, I can get out the door to go to Bible study. And then a bunch of my old coworkers at the library branch I used to work at had invited me to go out to drinks with them. Um, like at, they were all working till like 8 PM and they were like, oh, come out and have drinks with us, blah, blah, blah. And I'm putting all this stuff down and I'm about to like undo half of this. So like I did not fully commit to like what was going on here. Um, I was so tired though like I was I remember sitting in the parking lot like I left bible study and it was like 7 maybe like 7 40 7 45 and I was like okay like I had to drive like 20 minutes over to where they were all meeting and I was like trying to like psych myself up in the car because I had kind of said like I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it I'm really tired blah 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 but I hadn't seen a bunch of them in a while and I wanted to go, so I, like, made myself go, and I'm glad I went, but I only stayed for, like, an hour, like, I had, I had, like, one beer, and, like, chatted with everyone, and then I, like, left by 9 30, like, everyone was there by around, like, 8 15, and then I, maybe it was even before 9 30, I was just, like, I can't stay out, like, they were all gonna stay out for a while longer, and I'm, like, I need to be in bed by 10 because otherwise I literally will not be able to function tomorrow. Um, so I'm just filling that out. And then I used the um, paper and milk, this is fine um, sticker, which is like pretty much how I felt the entire week. Um, it was very much not fine. So I was just writing down, I like ran out of room, but with the people I went out to get drinks with, and then I also use the paper and milk beer sticker, um, which are super cute. I don't have a ton of beer stickers just because I don't normally drink a lot of beer. But the place we went, it's the same place we usually go after the kickball games whenever I mark going out to get like beers with the team. It, it was that same place for whatever reason. And I always just get a Guinness when I'm there because they don't really have like anything else that I want. Um, so yeah I'm just filling that in with some more five millimeter washi because I'm a huge fan of the five millimeter washi um it seriously is like some of my favorite I wish I could get five millimeter in like every color that I have in 15 millimeter that would be sweet so on Friday I was just marking um for like the weight loss challenge thing I do I was marking that signups were opening and since I'm on the admin team I like had to do a bunch of behind the scenes technical stuff leading up. So that was the other thing like on top of all that this week I was doing a bunch of coding stuff for this challenge like behind the scenes um 
every day. So I had like all of these, like I just had a much bigger than usual to-do list on top of already feeling physically exhausted. So I was like almost in tears like every day. I was just so tired and I didn't understand why I was so tired and my everything was hard and blah, blah, blah. So I had work from 10 to 6 on Friday, which is like my least favorite shift ever. Um, but I made it through. And then there were a bunch of new releases. There were Simply Gilded new releases, Caress Press, Scribble Prints Co. And then um, I grabbed the computer from the kit just to mark like I had to do a bunch of mod tasks for like the weight loss challenge thing because people were like asking questions and like new people who've never done the challenge before. And I had like 8,000 DMs and blah, 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 blah. And then this was also the day like I live in Akron and like in the Akron area and the Akron Marathon was this weekend and Friday night everyone had to go downtown to get the um to get their like badges for the race and the traffic was so bad like I moved a block in like like half a block in like 10 minutes and the tra- there's usually like never traffic when I leave for work And there were just people, like, walking out in front of my car and, like, a bunch of people from out of town that didn't know where they were going. It took me, like, over 10 minutes to get out of the parking garage that I park in. I was, like, not having it. So that's why I grabbed an angry Coffee Monsters Co. car. Oh, I was, like, it it took me so long. And then, like, once I got to the highway, it was fine. But I was just, like, when you're just sitting in traffic and, like, watching a bunch of people just, like, walking in front of your car, like, uh, it was just... So there were so many people everywhere and I was like next year remind me to like leave early on marathon day. <laughs> um so yeah, I'm just writing in the new releases and I used the check boxes from Magic Prince Co. And then after I finally got home, Joe and I turned around and went out. We've been doing this. I think I talked about this in my last plan with me where on Fridays we go to Giant Eagle. We didn't go this Friday cuz I was like just laying on the sofa all day but um where we go to giant eagle and get a glass of wine and up until seven it's happy hour so it's pretty cheap um like I get a glass of wine he gets a beer and we do all of our grocery shopping for the week so that we don't have to leave the house on Saturday or Sunday to do like the grocery store is always so busy on the weekend and it's usually pretty dead on Friday nights so and then we came home and I had another glass of wine and watched Great British Bake Off because that's what I did every night. You know it's bad when I'm watching TV. Like, I'm not normally a big TV watcher. And if I'm watching TV every night, that's how you know I'm tired because I do not usually watch TV. Um, Like, I usually have trouble sitting still long enough to, like, get through an eight-minute long YouTube video. Um, I just don't have the patience to, like, sit and watch an hour of TV more than like once a week so on Saturday I finally owned up well no I think I'd done that earlier where I didn't realize I wasn't gonna do hauls but I like put another chunk of like insta haul up on my stories and then I filmed and I grabbed a laundry sticker from the sampler to mark doing laundry again um and then I, that night, I had, did, like, my wine audiobook puzzle, just chilled out, had me time, um, or that afternoon, I think, actually, I think that's what I did. Like, in the evening, like, from 5 to, like, 8 or something, I want to say, I just, like, sat in the dining room and did my puzzle, listened to an audiobook, um, had a grand old time, and then afterwards like later that evening Joe and I just like cuddled on the couch and watched Great British Bake Off like this is starting to feel really repetitive like I'm tired I'm having coffee I'm listening to an audiobook and doing a puzzle or I'm watching Great British Bake Off like I realize how boring my life has been the past couple weeks um so sorry (laughs) but yeah that I, it's just, it's been hard, like, being me has been significantly harder than usual the past couple weeks, so hopefully you can figure out why I am always tired, um, and then on Sunday the internet bill was due and Joe was on call, so I had saved, normally I do, like, a lot of my cleaning stuff on Saturday, like, all the stuff that was in my sidebar, but I saved all of my cleaning stuff for, Sunday because I knew Joe was going to be gone all day 
and I wanted to like keep myself busy. I was actually super productive on Sunday morning. Like I got up and I cleaned the whole house. I think I had all of my to-dos done by like 1030 in the morning. Um, I was very impressed with myself. And then I, and like I had my meal prep going because I made like crock pot chili. I had that going like at 830 in the morning, like everything was just boom, 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 done. Um, and I actually got an Amazon package delivered on Sunday. We have an Amazon store here. Um, and so every once in a while, if something's in stock, I'll get one day delivery. And it was like the drawers I bought to organize my washi, like the Lucite drawers. I, and they delivered on Sunday, which is so weird. Um, and then I grabbed a meal prep sticker from Love Shira and I'm putting down this really pretty like planner washi from the Planner Sophisticate collab. I wanted, I realized I hadn't used this one in the spread and I wanted to make sure I used it because it's really, really pretty washi. So I grabbed that and then I ended up layering. So I had so much stuff that I wanted to put in on Sunday. I didn't have room to like leave the whole thing uncovered which I'm about to realize I'm going to move that up in a second because I also like organized a bunch of washi. I filmed a bunch of videos and then on Sunday night, I actually didn't mark this. My mom called while I was doing my puzzle and I talked with my mom for a while, but I did like, I had cheese popcorn for dinner and a glass of wine and did my audiobook and puzzle um, and just had like a really relaxing like me night kind of night because whenever Joe's on call sometimes it can like on the weekends when he's gone all day it can get really really lonely so I try to like save things that are really like self-indulgent or like relaxing or calming for when he is not here so um and then I'm just gonna put that label down because I realized I didn't have enough room to write everything but I love that little munchkin on the roll of Simply Gilded Washi. I think it's super cute. So I organized my washi. It's all shiny and nice. I filmed a ton of stuff because I finally started to get caught up on my... I think I am caught up now on my memory keeping. This is the last one. Um, and then I went ahead and did deco. I really love how this spread turned out. I wasn't sure about using... I try not to use two kits with the same kind of clip art. But this turned out really, really well. Um, I really, really like how it turned out. Um, so I'm glad. And I feel like it has a very different vibe than the Station Stickers one that I did. I think I had originally planned to use one in my memory keeping and one in my main. And then I switched something around. And I can't remember what I switched around. But I think that was my original intent. But I'm glad I ended up using like both of these because I think they're both really really pretty um and I love like the gold leaves over the candles that's probably like my favorite like the way that overlay works with the full box is just really really pretty um and of course I'm going in with my tweezers and putting down all of those little dots like the little marble dots from the kit you can't see them super well um on camera just because of the glare from the lights but in person, you can see, and I think it just adds a little more texture and a little more, like, something, something to the deco, because I really like having a deco-heavy top of my planner. That's, like, my favorite part is the deco. So here is the finished spread, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, so I'm hoping to be, like, more back to normal sooner rather than later um and just be a little more high energy a little more back to myself so um thank you guys so much for watching and i will talk to you in my next video bye guys